Hey guys, Jim Bounds with Motorhome Rehab Ranch on Patreon. Thank you for coming. Ranch hands, paint. Size of two elephants, man. Painting something like this, I mean, that'd take a crazy Krylon, man. That's a lot of work. A lot of work. You have to be dedicated to paint one of these things. I've, I've known many painters. They say, oh, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll just bag that thing off. We'll shoot her up. Get finishes. I'll never do that again. I'll never paint something like that again. So if you really do want to paint something, that says that the exterior, you want to change it, all right? Be real careful on what you want to do because it can get really expensive. How far do you want to go? It's not what to do. It's where to stop, gentlemen. It's where to, and on paint, it can be the labor sucking pig of the world, okay? So this series on paint, it's going to be two or three different series, okay? Because it's not just, oh yeah, man, let's just paint this thing. No, no, no. You have to, you have to commit to yourself how far you want to go, what you want to do. Hey, we got a big truck coming by. Hang on a second. Make sure they don't run us over. All right, man. You want to make sure that going into it, you realize what it's going to take to change the exterior color of one of these things. Think about this. If you have a commercial truck, you drive it to a truck paint place. Well, they'll, they'll wash it down with a pressure washer. They'll scrub it with Ajax. They'll bag the windows off and they'll fog it with white paint and it goes out. If it has a couple of lines, uh, runs or, or something, it's no big deal because it's a white truck or it's a blue truck. Everybody, they don't care. The problem with these motorhomes though, it has style. And if you paint this like you paint a truck, it'll look like a truck. You have to do the things that makes a nice paint job on a car. But it's the size of two elephants. That's the problem. What's the difference in a, in a commercial paint job and a quality paint job? It's the time. It's the labor that's put into it. How far do you want to go? You've got to get a bite surface to get the paint to stick. You've got aluminum and plastic. They react differently to paints. Okay? So it depends on really what you want to do. How, how complicated do you want to get on stripes? I've done some with seven color. Uh, Walter DeAndrea did some paint work for us. It was three-dimensional paint. It was unbelievable. An average paint job from Walter is $75,000. Did some of the GMCs. They were bad. Do you really want to do that? That's expensive. You can't just do it cheap. I've seen some coaches Went to Bubba and Scooter's paint shop, said, see that paint job right there? And that's what I want, right there. There's a difference in a painter and an artist. An artist makes things look dimensionally accurate. A painter paints it blue, green, or yellow, okay? And if you try to be artistic with this and you're not artistic, you know what happens. Your eye just doesn't work. And you'll put the same amount of labor in there You've got to be able to, to, to pull it off, you know? Straight lines are reasonably easy to pull off until it gets to a, a three-dimensional uh, front end. Now it gets to be, a, how do you get that thing to look like it's flat? You see what I mean? You've seen them. You look at the front of the motorhome, the paint looks pretty decent. You look at the front and it goes, woof! Or, it's not easy. You look at it and the guy's really proud. He turns out, he looks at it, ah! What happened? It didn't look right. <clears throat> Paint's a, paint is fickle. The most subjective part is your eye. Your eye is the thing that says, oh, well, that looks good or not. You know, and how do you tell your eye? You believe me or your lying eyes, right? <clears throat> so in the next episode or the next video about this, if you're really committed if this is really something that you want to do, or you've got somebody that will, that they say they're going to help you do it. All right, there was a guy uh, on the West Coast called me and said, Jim, you're too far away, but I want to paint a coach like you did. And he called me. This was, God, this was 10 years ago. He was, in the West, he was in the Western States Club. 
and he, he did it. He did all the steps, all the prep work, the, uh, everything. He did it the right way. And he did, a, he did a seminar on it at the Western States Rally. You guys might remember it. And his first comment was, I'll never do that again. <laughs> because it was so much work to really do what's needed where your eye says that's nice. Okay? You say, well, I just can't put that in, but the thing looks just terrible. What am I going to do? <clears throat> the harder you try to make it look nice, the harder it's going to be to get there. You want to get a level that you can afford to do, that you've got the talent or you have the talent that can do it at that level. And if he's a painter, that's fine. Get some, get some horizontal stripes. Don't paint it all one color. It'll look like a refrigerator. But come up with a stripe, and I'll tell you one that works beautiful. If you paint it one color, and you put a, a half-inch stripe, three-quarter-inch stripe right there, all the way around the coach, right around the front, this is a natural belt line right there, three-quarters of an inch. And you can go all the way around the coach, and it'll just break it up, and it'll look great. If you're going to paint it, play with stripes. Look at stripes. And, but don't make it so complicated that you, you can't do it. Or whoever's going to paint it can't do it. Because somebody will notice. <laughs> They'll notice. All right. So if, if paint's what you want to do, okay, all right, <clears throat> first step, wash it. Wash it like crazy. Wash it with Dawn dishwashing liquid. Why is that? Dawn has a hydrocarbon emulsifier, chemical in it. We use it in firefight. What does it do? It releases the oil. It releases the grease. So if you wash it with a heavy dose of Dawn dishwashing liquid, it will take all of the oils, all of the waxes, all of the stuff off of it. Clean everything as good as you can on the outside. And then get ready. Start sleeping. We'll look at our next video. And we'll, we'll step into this. Okay? It's going to be some work. How much? You're going to have 150 to 200 hours worth of labor. Solid labor. Not trying to figure out how to do something. Real labor. How much paint? Well, it depends. <laughs> depends on what week. You ask me this week or next week. Prices go up so crazy. You're going to have two or three thousand dollars in just materials: paint, materials, sandpaper, paper, tape. It'll drive you crazy how much sandpaper you're going to use. DA paper to do it right. To do it right. And if you don't do it right, just make it white, or just don't put the money in it because it won't look right. You can't do it three quarters. All right. Well, look, I hope this has helped a little bit. If you're going to stay into this, then go to the next episodes. Uh, if you are, that's why we're here. Uh, this coach, it's filthy dirty right now, but this paint, it, you can wash this thing up, and it, this thing will look sharp. That's the thing. If you do it right, it'll be valuable for years. This coach, <laughs> I've known this coach 25 years. Uh, used to live next to Bruce Springsteen. It was his neighbor. They're going to be here, gentlemen. We need to keep them here. We need to keep them up. And we need to keep them pretty. All right. Well, look, thanks for your time. Remember, like, uh, subscribe, and uh, share on YouTube. All right. Watch for uh, the Ranch Hand uh, news all during the month. Uh, Wednesdays will be our history uh, video just for you guys. And if you want to hear, see the history video, um, become a Ranch Hand. It's real simple. You know, it's, it's real easy. And if, it does, if, if you become one, if you, if you get involved and you find that there's nothing here for you, you can just cancel it. But you'd be surprised. I think you'd be surprised. Hang with me the, this first quarter, the second quarter. we got a lot more coming. How do I know that? Because Carl is telling me so. All right, guys. See you next time.